Шахстон филиала МСД, Англиялик Устоз МС, Мистер Джеймс, How to find a future proof job деп номлэнген, Иван тот казделе, уйерде, келеджеле талапки еге болладиган, кастла хакда гяпрдиле, ва канак клуб, кастна талаш хакда гяпрдиле. Сив, can you tell us three things that you learned today with Mr. James? First thing was that uh, we need to uh, pay attention to our surrounding. So second thing is uh, diploma is actually important besides the fact that many people say that diploma is just a paper. Third thing is that now I should think about my dreams. As Mr. James said, if your dreams uh, do not scare you, it means they are not big enough. Сегодня у нас прошел семинар. Какие моменты запомнились больше всего? Мистер Джеймс провел отличный на самом деле семинар. Я уже определился со своей будущей профессией благодаря ему. How did it help you? Oh, the speech given by Mr. James, in my opinion, is going to be very useful for myself because. Uh, this speech will kind of direct me to the future. I corrected my mistake. I will first of all choose my job and then go to university. Thanks for Mr. James. Uh, if I made you wait, um, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I apologize. Now, um, right, so what is today's plan? So we're gonna sort of, um, we're gonna make a plan and the plan is this. It's one of the most important topics and yet it's the least discussed, I believe, and a lot of people face with this problem, including myself, uh, when I was your age. And I really understand that being a teenager, and I have said that many times to my students, that being you is not very easy, because you're a teenager. And being a teenager, it means, you know, you're not fully grown up, and yet you're not a baby, you know what I mean? You're like a badly made you know, Abdullah. Oh, no, no, that's a bad word. Okay, my students get the joke. Okay, fine. Okay, I shouldn't make that joke. Okay. Oh, wow, we have a live transition going on as well. So that's embarrassing. I apologize to the online audience if you guys are seeing me. There's a lot of jokes, uh, you know, internal jokes as a teacher, so sorry. Right. <clears throat> right, okay. So, um, as I can see, there's a lot of faces. I think um, the good thing would be to introduce myself. My students, they, they know me. Right. Hello. <laughs> good. Uh, right. So, so my name is James. I'm a teacher here. I teach English. Uh, um, yeah, I know it's boring. Yeah, it's okay. But it's a very rewarding job. Um, so tiny bit about me. As you know, so I'm a teacher here. I'm very privileged to work among very uh, highly qualified teachers here um, and working with professional people like uh, Sean himself, who's been keeping you uh, busy while I was sorting out the technical issues. So thank you, Sean. Right. <coughs> right. So that being said, what is today's plan? Today's plan is how to choose your future career. Now, how to choose your future career is a very, very difficult job. <coughs> it's not easy because it's a it's for a lifetime. So the, the thing is, like, we need to understand the sophistication, the fact that the life itself is very short, okay? It's a very short life. You sort of remove the time when you were, you know, a baby, toddler, you know, and the, you know, seven-year-old, six-year-old. For example, the li little lady here in the audience, she's not going to remember what have happened in here after 15 years, okay? It's just we, our, you know, conscious memory just simply erase everything. And that's why we... If you remove all that unnecessary time, I believe we have quite a short life, about, you know, like meaningful of 40, 50 year, uh, years. And <coughs> in that very short period of time that you have, uh, you want to make sure that you have lived your life meaningfully, right? So today we're going to learn how to choose your future career. I'm going to give you a little bit of insight. And there's a practical uh, experience as well. Uh, right, so what's the practical side? The practical side is going to be this, that uh, if you want, uh, we're going to have some candidates. I have a table and chair there. We're going to put a table. I'm going to be, you know, interviewing some of the students just to give you a little bit of ideas. Oh, as I was, you know, explaining about myself, about my, you know, career, as you may know, I'm not a teacher, teacher by profession. I have worked in loads of fields, like loads of. Um, from taxation, consulting, finance, management accounting, financial accounting, uh, I have done, <coughs> uh, what else? Uh, analysis, bookkeeper, receivable, purchase, 
uh, purchasables, what else? Uh, investment appraisal, uh, mortgage broker, um, uh, what else? What else was it? When I was a teenager, I have worked in the field such as like, you know, like a job jobs, you know, uh, you know, uh, from shopkeeper, shop assistant, uh, assistant of a bookkeeper, paper boy. Uh, I really have, you know, and this is 15 jobs so far, and actually it's a lot more. Uh, and I have learned enormous experience from it. I have really have picked up, but uh, since I've been living in Uzbekistan for about two years, I have found out that the teenagers here are, mm, are not as future-oriented as they're supposed to be, because your future is extremely important. And, uh, and I'm going to give all the best information that I have in me to give you because I actually wish someone in, when I was in your age actually, you know, could have told that to me. It would have saved a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of effort for myself. Right, okay. So, right, so that's the thing. Right. I hope you can enjoy the presentation and if it's going to be boring or something, I apologize ahead. You know, I hope it's not going to be ruined in disappointment. So... Right, okay. Everyone is clear? Yeah, okay, cool. Right, okay, how to, uh, how to choose your future career. Before we're going to dive in, can you please tell me, let's do a little bit of interaction, who would you like to be in the future? So can you please tell me, interact, talk to me, what is it that you want in the future? Who do you want to be? Who wants to be who? Who wants to be what? Please, shout out. Accountant. Huh? Accountant. You want to be an accountant. Fantastic. Okay, others, what, what else do you want to be? Account. It's a boring job, okay, <laughs> but it pays good, okay, it's a boring, but it's a good one, okay, fantastic. Who else? Huh? Uh, uh, programmer, okay. Programmer, the thing about the program, that's an amazing job, but I hope you are ready to be learning all your life. Uh, jobs like, pro prof not jobs, let me be clear, professions like IT, uh, finance, accounting, it's a constantly learning job. Do not ever think that once you've graduated your university, you're going to get a job, you're going to pay, you're going to get paid, and you're not going to study anymore. <laughs> you're going to study a lot, even after you finish. So I hope you are, you, you are like, you know, you are one of those studious people who love to study. Right, accountant, IT, who else? Who do you want to be? Uh, wow, who wants to be a lawyer? Lawyer, who wants to be a lawyer? Right, there you go, lawyer, 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 L lawyer. Oh, I didn't know that you were going to be a lawyer. Okay, cool, lawyer. So amazing, I mean... In terms of the being a lawyer, there's a lot of types of lawyers. I hope you realize there's a lot of types of lawyers, right? Um, you need to be very clear and, you know, don't just be in a bubble thinking like, I'm going to be a lawyer. Um, there's a various types of lawyer. You have a commercial lawyer, property, let's go. We have a commercial lawyer, property lawyer, criminal lawyer, civil lawyer, business lawyer, uh, <coughs> a tax consultant lawyer, financial lawyer, uh, uh, international relations lawyer, and there's like there's so many more of, of them. So I hope you really know what you want to do, and you have made the intensive research, and you are dedicating your life. Okay. Any other professions? Wow. Okay. Right. Okay. That's a tough job. <laughs> okay. So you literally want to leave us. <laughs> bye bye, people. Okay. To a different plan. What you like to uh, uh, like a real like you actually want to work for NASA then, right? That's amazing, okay? I love it. That's, 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 uh, that's just brilliant, okay? Yeah, I think, I think, yes. Yes, and I think you should. I love it, I love it. You know, it, you know as they say, if your dreams are not big enough, if they don't, sorry, other way around, if your dreams do not scare you, they're not, they're not really big enough. Do you know what I mean? I really want you to understand how precious, how precious, and I repeat again, precious your life is. And I really want you to take a minute and think sometimes that this life that you have, which is given to you, it is only once. Unlike in a, you know, your PlayStation, your Xboxes and stuff like that, it never can be you know, restarted, replayed, retried, redone. Do you know what I mean? It's just a one chance, you shoot, you do, and it just finishes. Okay? I don't know what happens after that. That's completely another topic. That's very debatable. But whatever that you have now, just, you know, enjoy the journey and, you know, um, yeah, you know, live beautifully, live elegantly, as they say. So let's go, let's look into the jobs and see what we can do, future career, uh, future careers. So let's go, I'm going to, right, okay, sorry, technical issues again. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, next button. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Something wrong. Uh huh. Press. Uh huh. Try. Sorry about that. There you go. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Good, okay, fantastic. So let's go. So since we're talking about the jobs and futures and stuff like that, okay, so um, what are the differences? Okay, now job, okay, job is a, is a paid position of a regular employment. So uh, you have a task, you do the task, you complete the task, and you get money for it, okay? You exchange your, you exchange your, uh, hours for, you know, your, your hour, the hours that you have done, you know, in return for money, you know, and that's how it is. It's a basic form of it, you know, you provide your services, your, your, your skills, your goods, I mean, the things that you can do in exchange for money. But the job is, it, it's, it's very simple, and job, what, what are the jobs, you know, like flipping burger, you know, working a chef burger, or, you know, mama sushi, or papa sushi, you know, there, there was another, ah, yeah, no, I'm sorry, I apologize, okay, I thought it's like, you know, mama sushi, papa sushi, there's a lot of funny names going on in, in Uzbekistan, and I have met quite a few, okay, chef burger, and, and the other ones, so, okay, uh, yeah, for the copyright, I don't want to get sued, I don't want to be told off, it, they are beautiful names, okay, they're lovely, I'm just saying like, you know, so apologize about that. Right, <coughs> profession. So what about the profession? What is it, okay? Profession, is it, it's, just to keep it simple, because I know you are a young audience, all right? Profession is a job that involves prolonged training and formal qualifications. Now, okay, so what is that exactly? What does that mean to you? So professions are what? The ones that you actually have said, okay? Lawyer, IT, astronaut, okay? Uh, teacher as well. So doctors, uh, economists, financier, and stuff like that. So. That's a profession. Now, profession is, uh, gaining, a, g uh, gaining a profession and becoming a profession is a lot more harder than getting a job. Job is much more simpler. They do a, you know, those professions, they do a job, right? But the jobs they don't do, you know, they're not professions, that sort of meaning. So uh, I hope that sort of differentiates the, the you know, difference between them. Let's keep going. Let's go and stuff like that. Right, how about the career? Okay, that's another word that you actually hear quite a lot. Career is what, okay? It's, it can either be a job or a profession, okay? Preferably profession, not a jo job, okay? That someone does for a, very long, for a very long period and they are very, very, very good at it, okay? So they can have a career in some sort of fields. Right, let's keep diving in and let's have a look, see what we can do. Now, guys, <coughs> I really want you to understand that when it comes to the uh, job, there's obviously different types of jobs as well, okay? There's different types of jobs, meaning when I, when I mean different types of jobs, meaning like uh, they get paid for different things. They, you know, there are, there are people who are thinkers. There are, you call them thinkers. There are people who are builders. There are people who are servers. And there are people who are producers. What does that mean to you? Now, you see, you, we, and including me, I hope, I am human, right? Okay, <laughs> right? Okay, right? Okay. So uh, we are different. We are amazingly different, which is absolutely mind-boggling. Every single one of us have a different personality, character, charisma, you know, uh, <clears throat> and lots of other things. And what is it? Something that you may like. I may not necessarily like. Something that I love may be something that you really hate. Something that's very important to you may be something that I don't even care about. Okay, and stuff like that. So we are very, 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 very different. And that is affected because of many other sort of, uh, you know, uh, circumstances you were growing up. Because, you know, you, you maybe, you, you, maybe you've grown up in a family where, you know, they were engineers and stuff like that. So you were more hands-on. Or maybe you grew up in a, in a family where they were more... Uh, people who were into a poem and literature and stuff like that. And that sort of influenced you to be shaped up differently. The <coughs> I want you to realize and I want you to really, really understand that the, you know, the five people that are around you constantly, five people that are around you all the time, you are, the chances are you're going to turn out to be like one of them. Okay, so make sure the people who are around you, those five friends or family or whatever that the time that you spend the most with, are someone that you want to be in the future. If you don't want to be like them, okay, I recommend you to change your cir circle. And the faster, the better, okay? So <coughs> people affect you, whether you like it or you don't like it, you know? And that's, that could be the reason why I may have chosen this profession, because I'm a teacher, and I have influenced people's lives. I genuinely 
have changed some students, some people's lives. And I'm proud of that. I really am proud of that, that I was able to affect someone's life. It's, it's, it's a joy thing. I have, ha I have never had this experience when I was working in the accounting firm. All I was doing is, you know, doing some papers, reports, you know, having my boss and talking to my clients and <clears throat> getting to the office, you know, half past seven, 7.45, around that, and leaving the office by 11.30. Okay, being in one place for 14 hours and in the end of the day, you do get good money. Dengue is good. Yes, it's fantastic. You love the money. Money could be good. But you need to understand something. The money is not everything. Money is not everything. For some people, so for some people it is. I, I, and I appreciate that. That there, there are economical differences that need to be considered and taken into the uh, consideration. I, I genuinely, I, I, I realize that. But <clears throat> uh, speaking from my personal point of view, you, you should not really choose a career uh, from prospect of uh, how much does it pay? But do I really like it? Okay, but you can sort of look into it if you want. If you want to come out of you know, you know, uh, 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 working class to the middle class, or from middle class to upper class, from upper class to the, you know, superior class, because there's different things in you know classes in the in the you know this. <coughs> in the society that we have built. We have built this society that we, it, it works. You know, this, the whole capitalism thing that we have worked. Unfortunately, it's not the perfect thing that we have, capitalism, but it's the best thing that we have yet, okay? That theory of a supply and demand, it always works, okay? Uh, <clears throat> how easy are you replaceable, okay? And the capitalism, this system that we have built, we meaning like, like we, we, you know, your, your, our ancestors have built, <clears throat> it's cruel. It's cruel. It's like in the wild, you know, it's the survival of the fittest, okay? Because in one hand, you have someone who gets paid, I don't know, $320 million a year. Do you know what it means? Do you understand what $320 million means? Okay, think. Okay, do you know what million dollar is? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Yes, I think the size, okay, the million dollars, I have seen million dollars, it's not a problem, I can, you know, I, I know a million dollars, okay, 320 million, I have not seen, okay, now here's the thing, <clears throat> right, so, uh, your, but most of you have iPhones, your iPhone costs $1,000, okay, 10 iPhones gives you 10,000 and stuff like that, right, 10 of that gives you, what, 100,000, okay, 10 of that, and another 10 of that, huh? Right, another 10 of those ones will give you a million. Now imagine someone is making 320 million on one hand of the world, on the other side of the world, and you have another person who actually makes, I don't know, uh, $2 a day. There are people like that. And this is the world that we live in. Because in one part of the world, you can genuinely have someone who makes about, you know, millions a year or easily a few million a day. Okay, and you have someone else who works for two dollars, three dollars a day. So, would you like to work for three, four dollars a day? I will pay you thirty thousand songs. You can work for me. You know, I will find you some job. You know, printing or something like that. Would you like that? <clears throat> I think you wouldn't. You would say thank you, but no thank you. Right? <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Right. So now, why is it that you don't want that? You don't want that because you think it is you know, it's, it's too little, that it's beneath you, that you are better than that, you can make much more, because you have aspirations, you have dreams, okay? <clears throat> you wanna, you know, have dreams and goals, so that's the thing. Now the question is this, question is this, okay? What can I do to make more money? Okay, that's the question, if that's the question for you. And there are a lot of things that has to be taken into consideration, and this topic is very, very, very massive. This little presentation that I'm trying to make and explain to you, to your, to your young, fresh minds, it's, it's a, like a whole semester at the university. You know, it takes like six months to explain this sort of thing because there's a lot in there, and the, the, the variables of it can be pretty much unlimited, okay? But, <clears throat> That's the thing. So as I'm going back, so we have thinkers. So who are the thinkers? Okay, let's take you back. Thinkers are the people who actually think. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> right, uh, you see? You see how clever my answers are? Thinkers are the people who think. Uh, who thought? Uh, 
That's funny. All right. <clears throat> So thinkers are the people who think. So what do I mean? Okay, so these are the people who actually make their money with their, uh, you know, for intangible goods. What do I mean by intangible goods? These are the people who are, you know, <coughs> uh, right? Uh, they think, they find, uh, they establish ideas and stuff like that. Meaning they can be theorists and, you know, theorists like lawyers, CEOs, you know, and uh, mostly uh, people in a you know public C level job, so okay, because they think they think about the strategy and stuff like that. Okay, so think about that. So they are the people who make that. Builders, who are the builders? Builders are the people who likes to be hands on. There are some people who really, really are nifty. Okay, I have friends who likes you know fixing things. They just like it. They love it. They enjoy it. Okay, they like to take one and turn, put in. Wow, I have something else. You know, they really enjoy that. And some of you do. So that's another one. Servers. Servers or improver, we call them and stuff. So servers are the people who actually provide services, okay? So what kind of servers are we talking about? Servers are the people who provide services to, you know, to the other end of it, and, <coughs> and they get money exchanged. So for example, I don't know, think about your plumber next time, you know? Plumber comes to your house, he doesn't do anything, he just, you know, provides you service, you know what I mean? So he comes, he fixes something, in exchange, he gets something else for it. He doesn't build anything, he doesn't create anything, he just provides some sort of a intangible or tangible sort of a service. Right, producers, okay? It's the people who produce something. So producers are manufacturers, so that, you know, I don't know, <coughs> they make chocolate, they make toilets, I don't know, something, something along that line, okay, cool. Right, uh, books and whatever, they, ma they make tangible goods and, you know, and they, they, they produce some sort of things. I don't know if that's sort of you know, confusing. I hope it's not. Right, next slide, please, okay? Sorry if it's getting a little bit boring, I try to speed up and then see what we can do. <coughs> Look at that picture. Handsome man, isn't he? Yes? Right, sorry. Handsome man. Look at that. Okay. Right. I hope you appreciate the I hope you appreciate the joke. Okay. Uh, it says some high paying jobs. They pay about a million a year. Okay? Yeah? They get paid a million a year, they look like this. Okay? Right, okay. Yes, no, 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 they don't. They look better. Choo choo better. Right, okay. Right, okay, so some high paying jobs. So I uh, just want to sort of give you a little bit of general idea. Please try to appreciate that we live in Uzbekistan and I understand that you live in Uzbekistan and I live in Uzbekistan. And most of the research that I have made is uh, comparatively in, in Europe. So who are they? Managing directors in investment bankings, okay? They are, you know, they make, yeah, good money. But quite stressful. Portfolio managers, they work in the hedge funds and stuff, okay? General partners, in usually in venture capitalistic uh, uh, organizations, partners in the law firms, they make quite good in, you know, LLPs, you know, limited liability partnership. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know how much you know about the finance, but that sort of a thing, okay? And public companies, C executives, C level, C executive meaning like CEO, CFO, COO, you know, uh, you know, and, you know, CPOs and stuff like that. So that, those are the ones that get quite high money. Okay, but, and early investors. Now, when I was sort of thinking, talking about this one, yeah, early investors meaning like what, okay? Those guys, they jump into the, some good opportunities and they, you know, put a little bit of money and that investment grows substantially. So any of these sort of things will get you a good money. But however, getting into this one, you're gonna need chut chut brain, okay? Right, and you need to learn how to, obviously, you know, put your sweat and effort. So, let me just sort of go through it. So. If there's something you don't know, you can always ask about continue. Right, which is fascinating. Right, the lowest paying jobs, and mostly in America, it's what, okay? Laundry and dry cleaning person, dishwasher, cleaner, builder, cashier, and stuff like that, okay? I want you to understand it. Now, <coughs> I want you to realize that how these jobs are high paying, why these jobs are high paying, and why other ones are low paying. It's yet again it's about the economy, okay? Supply and demand, okay? How easily are you going to be replaced? Now, the advice that I can give you, and it's one of the best advices, okay? And I love this quote. I heard this quote when I was, you know, at the university, and I love it. Do you know what diamonds are, right? Diamonds. Diamonds are... Diamonds are very shiny, beautiful, and very expensive yeah. stone. Do you know that? Yeah, they're wow. very expensive. A tiny one, you know, the tiny one gonna cost you your arm and leg, you know, like, you know. So they're quite expensive. Now, and so diamonds are very expensive. Now, and I love this quote, and I heard it, okay? And it says this, if you wanna shine like a diamond, yeah. you've got to be cut like a diamond. 
I just love that quote, okay? Because the diamond is valued on, on four C's, if I'm saying clarity and, you know, carrot, and meaning size and so on. So, yeah, if you want to be shine like a diamond, if you want to be highly valued, you have to be cut like that. Now, when I mean you have to be cut like that, what do I mean? I'm not saying, like, go and cut yourself, like, <laughs> I cut myself so many times, take me to the job. Not really, that's not the point. What I'm trying to say to you is the fact that you need to be unique, you need to be outstanding the market. The life is about competition. Whether you like it, you don't like it, you can take it, go, you can go home and you can cry on your pillow <laughs> and stuff. It's not really going to help you because that's how the, the whole world system built. Now, what is it that I can say to you? I hope you understand everything I'm saying. Uh -huh, right? That kind of <laughs> came to me. Right? Okay. Right. Okay. Um, right. I have my students who I know they understand me perfectly because we have spoken about this subject like a million times and I thank you for your patience and listening again. And then Max is like, eh, I need to go. All right, okay, yeah, I'm going to sort of yeah, speed up. Sorry, Max. All right, okay. So, <clears throat> all right, anyway, so having said that, uh, what is it I'm trying to say? You are learning here English with me. All right, okay, you're going to learn your IELTS thing and you're going to get into whatever university that you're going to go to. You're going to choose the university, right? At the university or during while you're studying university, you're going to get a job and you're going you're gonna to get a job in a, you know, sort of associate you know, junior associates and stuff. You're going to start working there and stuff like that. And everybody will treat you like you're rubbish. I don't know how it's in Uzbekistan, but in mostly in the Western countries, they treat you quite badly, especially in, you know, sort of office jobs. Not like badly, but there's a lot of politics and stuff. <coughs> so, um, so you're going to, you know, you're going to get there and stuff and you're going to start working, you're going to work your way up. Now, it's, a lo it's all about employability and stuff. I know when I usually ask my students, what do you want to do in the future? You know, I'll, I'm always surprised. About seven, seven out of ten, if I'm not mistaken, seven out of ten, they all say, I want to do business. I want to open my own business. A lot of students say that. And I, and I used to think, like, why do they want to do that? And, so, and then I've realized about the salaries, you know, like I've realized like salaries, you know, putting so many hours and then getting, you know, choo-choo salary, so it's better to open your own business. And now I, I, I sort of appreciate the gesture. I, I, I get it. I, re I really, 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 really do. And that's why you do it. But uh, I'm trying to sort of explain that from prospect of, you know, West world, Western world. And uh, if you really are a qualified and unique individual who can bring a lot of value to the organization and it's very hard and difficult to replace you, the chances are you're going to get very, very, very high salary. And that's, thing, that's the thing that I can really say. So now you know English, you're going to get your IELTS, you're going to get a job. Get that. Okay, fine. Now, another thing. What, what are the things that I need you to know? Obviously, you should, you should read more books. And my students, they all, all have heard this thing. You remember about the formula I told you? Three, two, one formula, right? It, 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 it works like a golden. You know, just trust me, okay? And I have mentioned that. Whatever career that you're going to choose, I, I hope, you know, you have found your career. If you haven't, that's a completely different thing. Um, you need to make sure that you read those free articles on a daily basis. You need to watch two documentaries on that very thing that you are going to. And then one, you need to read one book a month, okay? Now, uh, one book a month is not, it's not, it's not a lot. It's only 12 books, okay, to be honest. Now, you do that on a consist consistent basis. By the time you graduate university, I guarantee you, right, you're going to be in the top one percent of the individuals who are applying for that job. The rest, 99 percent of those people who are after you will be <laughs> cut out. You know what I mean? So the job of the, you know, getting a high salary job is definitely will be guaranteed to you in that sphere. So, right, so it's all about supply and demand. How easy are you replaceable? Please try to appreciate the fact that one day you want to open your own business. And if you can open your own business, okay, and you have an employee, they are humans, you're going to speak with them, okay? Now, if they are annoying people, because it's not about, it, please try to also understand that it's not only about the qualification and how qualified are you, it's also about the character, meaning that... Uh, you can be the best accountant, you can be the best IT man, you can be the best marketing, you can be the best lawyer, you can be the best accountant. But if you have a really bad, annoying personality, the chances are they're not going to hire you, or even if they're going to hire you, they're not going to really like you or work with you as much as they should do. So the personality trait is also 
you know, vital. It's called soft skills. And I strongly recommend you to improve your soft skills as well because these are the things that the most teenagers lack. Okay, they don't have that. So uh, what can you do? If you have heard about the book called How to Influence People, How to Win Friends and Influence People, it's a great book to read. And I have mentioned that to a lot, all of my students, you know, to mention. So, you know, that's the thing. So I hope you can understand that skill. Let's go, next one. Right, okay, sorry. What about the fun jobs? Yes, you can have a fun job. Okay, fun jobs are amazing. And there are really some strange jobs in, in the world. So what are the fun jobs that you can have? A video game designer. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine. He is actually, he works one of these uh, IT companies in Tashkent. P, PMA? P9? What's that? Uh, Afa? Yeah. There's some big IT company who works for international British company. Right, okay. And then I was sort of, he was helping me and stuff. And then he's saying, like, you, did you just put the most fun jobs into video game design? I was like, yeah. He's like, hey, hey, it's not fun. All right, it's because he's a designer, you know, IT guy. So probably knows that. I said, like, fine, leave it. Okay, ice cream taster. I think that's an amazing job, okay? I think, you know, I, I bet this girl would love that job, okay? <laughs> All right, wouldn't you? Do you like ice cream? Ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, she. I love that uh, respond. You know the wide smile. Uh, the eyes are big. And then shall I know or should I do that? Oh, no, I can see that. Yes, ice cream. So yeah, you def definitely can try that job in terms of being, uh, um, you know, ice cream taste and stuff. Like that. Pet groomer. I don't know if you like pets and stuff. Some people they love. You know, barber, hair cutter, you basically do the haircut for the pets, okay? You know, manicure, lacquer, and stuff like that, yes. <laughs> but for the cats and the dogs, how cool is that? Very cool. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. Right, sommelier, or a wine taster, or the person that sort of tastes wines and stuff. I did that job. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. I did that job, okay? Right, it's, uh, it's a good way of, you know, you know, Having fun, yes. It's, 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 it's a cool job, but it's very, you know, tough as well. It has its challenges. But, yeah, you definitely can enjoy that one. Okay, novelist, if you're into, uh, into literature, that's, I think that's a beautiful job as well. Some people are very sentimental and they can think very wide and they're very poematic. I am not. I am I'm more of a logical person and, and I don't have a talent, unfortunately, but I know and I have met and I have spoken to some very talented people and I'm very envious of them, the way they view the world, the, the way they can use their language to describe things. It's absolutely fascinating. If you like zoo, if you like animals again, do you, do you know panda? Yes. Kung fu panda? <laughs> yes, okay, right, okay. You can become a panda nanny. Do you know what it means? Yes, you're a nanny, back to the panda. Uh, how cute is that? I think that's the cutest job, okay? I would leave this job, guys. I'm sorry, students. I'm, uh, if there's a job that would offer me, hey, do you want to do a panda nanny? I was like, yeah, mate, come on, I'll take it. Okay, I'm joking. I'm never leaving. Right, okay, we're going to finish. Right, okay. Right. <clears throat> Water slide tester. I bet most of you would love that job. Do you know what it means, right? You know, uh, water parks in summertime? You know those massive slides? Yes, your job would be to phew, and then come out and go like, okay, one out of ten for safety, I give seven. For fun, I give eight. And so, how cool is that? And that's what you do all day. <laughs> huh? It's brilliant. And you get paid for it. Right, next job, please. But, uh, right. Right. Now, I have mentioned to you about other things. So, uh, okay, joke is a joke and it's lovely, okay? But since we're talking about education and, and stuff, let's look at the graph. Now, this graph is from the uh, Northeastern University. It's the, <coughs> uh, it just gives a little bit of statistics. Now, what does the statistics is all about is the fact that uh, you have different types of qualifications. Now, you have, you know, you have school, high school, you know, college, university, uh, master's degree, you know, doctor's degree, meaning like PhDs and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, we have a little bit of uh, um, graphs in here. Now, the chances of you being now higher, you know, more higher educated you are, the higher educated you are, the, the lower the chances of you being unemployed. And that's the thing. The, the people who are at the high school and, and people who graduate just to school and didn't do anything else, the chance of them being unemployed is quite higher. Now look at this one, it's 3.7%. Now for you it may seem quite low, but however, please try to appreciate these statistics from the, the United States of America. I did not have enough time to make data analysis for Uzbekistan and stuff like that. So, <coughs> uh, and comparatively, 
uh, comparatively, uh, in Uzbekistan, you would have sort of a uh, you know higher, much higher result for someone if uh, who haven't finished their school. What does that mean to you? What how this thing apply to you guys? It applies to you in a way that okay. You've got to finish your bachelor degree, it's a must. And then you need to get some work experience, it's a must. And after that, you also need to get your you know, master's degree. And depending what sort of career that you're going, if it's law, accountant, and uh, uh, you know, financier, you need to do your you know, uh, CPD, which means continued professional development, okay, to keep going on to the next level. And in a corporate world, as you may know, there are three layer layers, it's sort of like a pyramid. Pyramid. You have a you know operational level, middle level, and a strategic level. Okay. Now operational level is the one that you usually get involved. You're gonna as soon as you finish your uh, you know university or while you're studying university, you're gonna be in the operational level. You're doing operations and stuff like that. As you have finished your university degree and you have about three to four years, depending in finance, usually they say four for students who are doing CFA like analysts and stuff. Four years. After four years, you're gonna become sort of a senior, um, what do you call them, senior uh, associate or, or junior partner, like you know, you're gonna go to the middle management and that's where it's gonna get fun and you're gonna work in that field for about five and uh, you know, uh, five to eight years and then after that I you need to do you know, further you know, uh, improvement of your qualification education and then you can sort of go up to the higher level. So it's basically a lifetime of it. Now this graph is, is it, as it showed to you, uh, for someone who's got a doctor's degree or you know, professional degree, professional degree like you know, the one that I have mentioned, ACCA, CFA, CMA, uh, CMAP, and there's a lot of those qualifications that are very tough qualifications. Um, uh, the chances of you being unemployed is about 1.6%, which means you know, it's close to nothing, okay? So uh, that really, really, really helps. Now what does that mean to you? It means that the power is in education, basically, right? We have a lot more things. Let's go to the next slide. <coughs> Shall we take a break? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Uh, sort of. So exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah, yes. I. Oh, fantastic. All right. All right, guys. Uh, here's the thing. Okay. Everyone okay? Yeah. Yes. You are bored. You are tired. Now let's take a break and stuff. Coffee, coffee break. Okay. Let's have a coffee break. What is the plan for the second half? I'm going to explain this thing, and after explaining this one, I'm going to show. I'm going to. Uh, give some point in terms of a choosing job and there are a few things and after that I'm gonna bring out the table here uh, there'll be some job uh, instructions okay I l have hired and fired many people <laughs> like many okay I I also was a trainer like it uh, used to train because I was in consultancy I used to train people to use new sort of programs like I don't know if you heard about the sage 50 sage 75 sage 100 there's SAP opera programs they are programs they to do with the financial programs okay I would train you know 40 year old man who are very grumpy he's been doing the same job for many many years who's getting divorced and the children hate him you know a very very depressing life and now with um, a young guy coming and telling him hey you do this way they give me a very grumpy look right anyways so and I'm gonna make a sort of a job interview if you're interested if you think you are cool and I'm gonna give you all the feedbacks if I would have hired you in the real world okay I'm gonna be very honest so you're more than welcome to try out and stuff like that is it clear right sorry if it's if it was a little bit boring and I have spoken a lot and if it wasn't interactive I apologize for that let's have a break have fun okay thank you very much and I'll see you in a bit all right thank you very much all right thank you right I see my la Uzbek sushi, yeah, you know, <laughs> I love it. So, okay, it's uh, yeah, sushi, sushi is amazing. Sushi is amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, oh, yeah, I loved it. I never forget when I had the sushi for I mean, uh, Hasip for the first time. I was eating it so much because I was hungry. My, my friends, they're like, like you know, eating, 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 eating Hasip, and my friends go like, oh, you're really liking it? Yes, I, I am. I'm enjoying the sushi, you know, the Hasip. And then he told me how the sushi is made. Uh, the hasib, they said like, like <laughs> uh, okay. uh, yeah, I was like, uh huh, shoo, shoo, shoo. wash, 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 fill up, fill up, and then steam in a you know manti, cut, 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 and eat. Like. I'll come back. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't like that. But uh, like I was holding it. 
All right, okay, so, all right, so, anyways, jokes aside, okay, so welcome back, okay, thank you for, um, you know, for your patience. Right, uh, right, so, <clears throat> Uh, let's crack on, let's continue, and I'm going to go straight to the point. Right, okay, the most stressful and hard jobs. Now, they are very subjective. Uh, uh, when, you, when we mean hard and stressful, it's very subjective. Uh, for some people, uh, you know, for some people, teaching is very stressful and very hard job. Uh, not for me, I, I enjoy teaching. That's the uh, reason why I'm doing this job, because it's like a hobby. I really, really do enjoy it, but some people, they can't really bless you uh, can't really you know you know grasp the the whole you know teaching thing they think it's you know it's a you know soul breaking job i don't know agree to disagree i guess right so Successful and hard jobs are the what, okay? Miners, okay, do you know what miners mean, right? Okay, those people, look at that man, okay, his eyes, you know, red, you know, working somewhere on the ground and digging, uh, you know, tunnels and stuff, well, that's not an easy job. Okay, surgeons, okay, surgeons, okay, uh, people who make hasip. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. People not who's made, uh, people who are, you know, people who are helping other people by cutting them. No, I'm sorry. All right, yeah, it's, 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 it's a great job, okay, it's a surgeon. Right, military, okay, you know what military is, soldiers, you know, those people, the people who are protecting our land, our, you know, our peace from, you know, uh, from very, very bad people who want to take away that freedom that you have, that, you know, precious freedom that we have. Nurses, it's, uh, as you all know, nurses is an extremely difficult job, purely because they do Minimum 12 hours a shift sometimes, as long as 20 hours of shift a day. Uh, can you genuinely imagine yourself doing, I don't know, um, 20 hours on a job non-stop and there are some angry patients coming to you and saying like, why this person is not getting well? And like, oh, I don't know because he's been smoking for 40 years. Okay, <laughs> right, okay, right, okay. And they want everything magically disappear and to be fixed, which is quite not possible, unfortunately. Right, yeah, so it's a very stressful job, nurses, you may imagine. High altitude jobs, now what they mean, it's, I think it's on the name, you know, alpinists, people who are working that, rescue workers, you know, there's a lot of people getting stuck somewhere in the mountains and stuff, you know, and, you know, they go and then rescue them, so they're quite stressful and hard job. But yet, yet again, this list is not exhaustive and it's very debateful and things like this. Right, okay, next slide, please. Thank you. Right, okay, swiftly moving on. Okay, now, have a look in here. Right, okay. We have currently, as you can see, it's been Googled, okay, right. There are little over, you know, 12,000 jobs out there that's available, 12,000, 12,000, let me repeat that one more time, 12,000, that's quite a lot. Okay, this boom of, uh, of, of jobs have happened recently because of loads of advancement that we have made in terms of technology, in terms of many things, uh, because if you just go back, I don't know, 300 years ago, you know, 400 years ago, you know, couple centuries back, uh, th this number is substantially low, substantially low. And I'm going to sort of show you a couple more f figures on, on this. Now, uh, and I think, and I genuinely have to, you know, emphasize this, and I really want to open up your eyes, open up your eyes in terms of like how your generation and obviously, uh, you know, myself included, are lucky to have uh, you know, to be alive in this time. We are literally living in the pinnacle, you know, the time. Um, and I have mentioned that a few times to my students as well, that you live better than the kings and the queens of an 18th century. And that is because of technology. And technology pushed us beyond, you know, imagination. Uh, the, the simple things that you do on a daily basis would have been called crazy if you would if you if you would go back to the time. The fact that you can simply take out your phone and order a food and there's a food coming to your house. Uh, the fact that you can take your phone and talk to someone on the other side of the world. It's just amazing. Okay, or simple things that you do at home, like you go home and you open a freezer and you take some ice and you cut some lemon, you squeeze it, some lime, some mint put some mint, you know, some syrup and Sprite, and then, you know, oh, that's amazing. It's, it's a small thing for you, but at some point in time, this was, a, this was only 
accessible to kings and queens and nobody else. You had to be extremely rich to have that, but luckily you can do that on a daily basis. That's amazing. Similarly with the jobs, okay? You have so many types of jobs, it's just crazy. There's a theory called paradox of choices. Paradox of choices mean what? There's so many jobs that it's so hard for you to choose one. If I tell you there's 12,000 jobs, you need to choose one career. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just insane. It's, it's very difficult. It's not tough. It's, it's very tough. Because a couple hundred years ago, if you were the son of a farmer, you would have been a farmer. If you were the son of a blacksmith, you would have been a blacksmith. If you were the son of a cleaner, the chances are you would be a cleaner again. And that's horrible. That's horrible, okay? And now it's not that. And opportunities for you to become someone it is absolutely endless and I want you to really grasp that in your mind and understand and say to yourself that I can be anyone I want to be and that is amazing the question is how much do you want it how badly do you want it and and that's that's that, that, that's the, that's the thing and I really want you to sort of think about that every now and then uh, instead of thinking about PUBG uh, all right, it's okay. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Max? Oh, yeah. Dark Souls. <laughs> right, okay. Right, okay. Um, okay. Right, so that's the thing. We have a lot of choices. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Right. Please have a look on this, um, <clears throat> on this graph. As you can see, there is a massive decline, okay, or drop. In what, okay? Uh, from 1970 to 2000, and these jobs are what? Okay, it's a farm jobs. It's a drop in the percentages. In, uh, uh, please, yet again, consider the fact that I've taken these uh, uh, statistics from the uh, uh, U.S. because it was very hard to find some statistics and number from Uzbek websites. Okay, uh, the, you know the fact that I don't really can read good Uzbek. You know, it's you know. All right. Okay. So, um, um, yeah. So the farm jobs. Look at look how much it has declined. Ninety percent to two point six percent in you know in the last couple hundred years. Okay. And the chances are most of you in here, if you were born at that time, you would have been a farmer. You know, collecting potatoes, <laughs> tomatoes. You know, and stuff. But however, now it has changed. This drop obviously has its advantages and disadvantages as well. Uh, advantages in terms of like you have a lot more choice to become rather than a farmer because you can contribute to a greater good. Okay. Um, uh, and yet again, I told you life is not about making money and stuff like that. There is a, uh, there is a. Uh, I forgot the name of the of the gentleman, the theorist, uh, uh, Mendel, if I'm not mistaken. There's a theory of need. Uh, if you're gonna, and you're going to study about that in, 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 in finance and accounting. There's a pyramid of need, meaning like every single human of us, something that connects us together is a pyramid of need. We have something called basic needs, okay, basic needs, uh, which you, and then secure, uh, like, you know, a basic need meaning like it's, a, you know, a food, and, food and water. Everybody needs food and water, you, me, no exception. Um, uh, security, like meaning, like, not security, sorry, shelter. Shelter meaning like a house. Every single one of you need a house. You need to sleep somewhere and, you know, go uh, and do that. Number three is a security. Number three, security meaning like you need to have something that, you know, generates money so you could pay for those goods, which is the food, water, and the shelter. Okay, that's free. Okay, now this is the three levels. And fourth one is what? Okay, uh, self actualization and self-realization. What does that mean to you? Self-actualization is basically, you know, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, you want to contribute other things, you want to do something greater, something more. Uh, self-realization is realizing yourself to the higher, higher, you know, um, to, to the pinnacle. You can, uh, how you can do this now, but unfortunately, a couple hundred years ago, people never thought about that because they couldn't even do that because people could barely feed themselves, people could barely buy themselves a drink, uh, it, and unfortunately, this thing still happens now. There are in some part of the uh, of the world, there are genuine people who drink dirty water. There are genuine people, kids younger than you are, walk two kilometers towards the river somewhere where they with the two containers and fill them up, okay, and then go back to the house, okay. And that journey, about two, three, four kilometers of one way and coming back, it's it's it, it's still a 
it's still a reality for some people. And please realize that we're living in a time where we've got one individual who's making, you know, huge amount of money, and then you, we have other individuals who are literally, you know, starving to death. And it, it's, it, it's, it's a horrible sort of, you know, re realization. And unfortunately, this was the case for majority about 200 years ago. And now, because of education, because of the education technology and lots of other improvements, social and economical, we have gone up as a humans, as you know, majority of us have gone up to the next level, which is amazing. It's a good news for, for you. And the following generation that's going to be after you, they're going to enjoy the privileges that your generation is going to create. And I love this quote when I have, and I have mentioned that a few times in the past as well, you know, hard times create, uh, hard time create hard men. Hard men create easy, t easy times. Easy times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. And such a vicious cycle, and it, it always happens, and happened throughout the history. If you look back, in, in, even within your country's history, it have happened many, many times. So yeah, that's the, that's the thing. So yeah, you are very privileged in, in that sort of sense. Next slide, please. All right, so since we're going into that, okay. Right, so <coughs> this particular uh, part, you, let's drive, okay? So you choosing a job. Now, I really want, I want you to really understand that you, we live in the, in the uh, time of Instagram, TikTok, and, you know, social media network, and there's a lot of highlight reel going on in the world, meaning a lot of people post very cool photo of themselves, you know, somewhere in, I don't know, uh, beautiful islands and doing some cool stuff you see your classmates your friends your neighbor or I don't know someone someone doing some amazing things okay and the point that I'm trying I'm, I'm driving to is the fact that uh, you know they c create that illusion and then they lie and then this lying this lying this creating illusion becomes such a norm nowadays and people uh, and people really stuck with this okay and I really don't want you to lie to yourself, okay? Because lying became a very normal thing nowadays. And uh, do not lie to yourself. Like, you can lie to others, but do not lie to yourself. Try to be honest with your own self. Being honest with yourself is the, you know, the highest thing and that you can, highest gift you can give to yourself, being honest. It's very difficult to be honest with yourself. Now, why am I saying this to you right now? Because I'm driving to the fact to here. Perform a self-assessment. That's what you should do, okay? There's something called SWOT analysis, and I think you should do SWOT analysis on yourself, meaning like, what's your weaknesses? So, sorry, what's your strength? What's your weakness? What opportunities you have? And what are the threats that you are facing with? Now, this uh, SWOT analysis, analyzing yourself, what's your strength? Some of you are amazing at doing analysis. Some of you, I know, amazing at computing. Some of you are really good at communicating and stuff like that. You need to really, really, really assess yourself. Spend time with yourself, being alone, because there's a lot of solitude in being lonely, like being not lonely, alone, pardon me, alone. And once you identify all your strength, all your weaknesses, and all your opportunities that you can do, opportunities mean strength, I think you understand what I meant. Weaknesses, I mean what things that you cannot do. There are things that you cannot do. No one can do everything. I have my weaknesses, and, I, and I'm very aware of them. And identify your strength, identify what's your weaknesses, work on your weaknesses, whatever that is. Okay, next one. Okay, opportunities. When I mean opportunities, I mean you could have some connections, you can have some friends, you can have some people, you know, you may know some uh, people who are very influential or you may have some very, uh, you know, uh, interesting people in your life and stuff like that. Connect with them, talk to them, know from them, you know, and use them. When I mean use them, I don't mean to misuse them. I mean like, you know, they can genuinely give you some tangible advices, okay? Don't be shy about that. Genuinely go and get them and, you, and then things. Find someone that you love, that you respect, someone that you look up to. And if you have that person in your life, you are already very lucky. If you don't have that person, find that person who you want to be like. And then ask them, talk to them, find out what they are, who they are, what they do. And, you know, improvise. Learn the good sides. That's the things I mean in terms of opportunities. Some of you have better opportunities than others. You can also refer to it as a privilege. Threats. 
Threats meaning like, you know, what sort of threats can you have in terms of, you know, that will stop you from reaching your goal? What are the things that can affect you? The threats can be external and internal. External meaning there could be some things that uh, can be technology, it can be stopping. Uh, th there are some students that I have spoken to, they say, uh, who do you want to be? They say, I want to be a translator. But the problem with a translator is the fact that technology is very soon is going to replace that thing and that job is going to be obsolete. So you may, you may want to be trained in a particular different job because, you know, that technology is going to replace you. And similarly, there are loads of other jobs will be replaced eventually in about 20 years' time. Probably there will be no teachers. So you will have some, you know, uh, um, Elon Musk is making some robots. So maybe in 20 years' time you will have, I don't know, Dr. James or something. Or not doctor, I mean like Robert James, sorry, a bit nervous. So will replace me, okay? So you need to be ready for that sort of threats, okay? And this, and, and I, and, Although you, although you live in a, such a good time where there are a lot of jobs available, the pace of changes are so fast, are so rapid, every single day you are being out-competed. You are being competed out. There are much stronger people. So please identify, make a self-assessment on yourself. Know all those things that I have mentioned to you. Next one, identify your must-haves. Now, so since you have identified your strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities, next thing that you want to do, identify what things that you must have to get where you want to get. It could be, you know, qualification, it could be soft skills, it could be uh, communication skills, it can be technical skills, it could be like computer skills. I don't know what things that you need to get there, but you must know them. And I love this saying from uh, Art of War. There's a book called Art of War by Tsun Tzu. It's a very old book. It's a great book. And I strongly recommend you to read that book. And according to that book by Tsun Tzu, the general, and he says this, and I quote, he says, know yourself and know your enemy and you shall not perish in thousand battles. This was recorded more than 2,000 something years ago. That book was published before Quran, before Bible, and so it's a very old book, but it still applies nowadays in the real world, which is unbelievable. So it means what? Know yourself very well, know where you are going, what is it that you have to do, and you shall never perish in thousand battles. You will always win. Right. Make a list of jobs to explore. Now, you need to have a job. I recommend to all of my students, all the people, get in a job as early as you can. You have a summer time, okay, go and get a job, okay? It, it can be free. Don't work for money, okay? Get a job, work, try, whatever it is. Bring a coffee, because in the job you're going to learn. Right now, the thing about you, you think you are amazing, okay? I'm a teenager, I know that. I used to think I'm the coolest guy in the room. But I wasn't. I was, I'm the smartest man in the room. I wasn't. Trust me, I wasn't. Okay? And it's very, such a, it's very such a common thing for the teenagers like yourself. You think that you know a lot, but uh, trust me, what you, you are hugely overestimating yourself. So please make sure you find a list of jobs that you can and try out as early as you can. Uh, one of the biggest falls that people have in, in European countries, and I was a victim of that same thing, is this, this is how the usually, usual life works. People finish, students finish uh, school, co uh, college, then they need to go to university, right? Now, they don't know which university they have to go, they're gonna ask their friend, their relative, their cousin, uncles, Abdullah, somebody, I don't know, someone they, they like, all right? Okay, and they're gonna tell them, oh, do a lawyer, oh, become this. They speak about it so casually, so calmly, that they don't understand and they don't understand the gravity of their words. And that decision that you're gonna make is this one of the single most important decisions you're gonna make for life. You can change a career, but however, you cannot return the time. And the time is more expensive than the money itself. Money is nothing, but the time is more important. So uh, for that reason, I, I would say it would be better if you start, uh, you go to your school and if you have summertime, please try to get a job anywhere, even for free, apply to lots of jobs. Get in there, work in there, have a boss. You're gonna have horrible boss. You're gonna have a co co colleagues that are gonna hate you. They're gonna have people who's gonna backstab you. Things about you, they're gonna talk on your back and so like, you're gonna have some pressure. You're gonna have some people like who will try to break you and they're gonna say like, you're doing very, very good, fantastic, lovely. As soon as you turn around like,
Okay, you will have this, okay, and I want you to experience this, especially my students, okay, at such an early age, okay, and then by the time you finish your university, you will be really, really well cut out to these sort of things. There's a lot of things that the business schools, they do not teach you, uh, and, and they are, comes with a practice, and the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that don't get into the university and finish university and get into it and then have it. Do it while you're at school, okay? Get cut out. Do it while you're in a college. I'm not telling you to do it for, you know, uh, work and make money. I'm just telling you to experience. Because in the end of the day, the most important thing that you can have is the experience. Experience meaning like try out things that you like, you don't like, that can be good for you, bad for you. There's no such thing as a good or a bad, like a good or like right or wrong. There's, you know, it's experience, good or bad. It, gives you something, you know, you're learning something. If it's good, good. If it's bad, you learned your lesson. Don't do this, okay? So that's the thing, so please. Research job and employers, okay? That's, I think, speaks for themselves. There's loads of options. There's loads of jobs, loads of employers. Why am I working in this particular center? Why I'm not working in a different center? Or why I'm not doing a completely different job? Why am I actually here? And I'll tell you why I'm here. Because of the management, because of the people, okay? I work with people that I like, okay? I have been pushed you know, I've been pushed, told off, arguments many times, okay, all right? And the reason why I work here is the fact that I like the management. I get along with management quite well. They are very nice people. The reception is good. The bank management, the, you know, the CEOs and the people who open this center, like, you know, Mr. A and, and, and others, they are, they are really good people. They're supportive. So that's the, that's the reason. So uh, it's not about, about the job. It's the people that you're working with. So these are the things they don't tell you, but these are the things that you stumble upon once you get into it, okay, and, and the thing. Right, so please, do, okay, get training if needed and update, okay, right, okay. The moment that you stop learning is the moment that you start dying. And this is something that was quoted by a very smart man called Henry Ford. Ford is the guy who created the car, you know that car? Beep, beep. Right, okay, so, and he has a very, very, very good point in there, yeah. So you can, the learning will never stop. And I have come across to a lot of my students who think that, oh, I'm going to finish English, then I'm going to go to university, then I'm going to finish this, oh, no. and they're going to stop. No, you're never going to stop learning, okay, you're not, you're not. And the old generation, the problem with our parents' generation is that, that if you sort of speak to your parents and, or just watch your parents, okay, do they read any books? Do they uh, read any articles? Do they self-improve? Do they take some trainings? There are lots of free courses that you can do online. There's lots of things. Do your parents do it? No, they don't. Why they don't? Ask them, why you don't do that? Okay? Because they don't want to. They're lazy. They're not used to it. They don't have that mindset. And I don't want you to have that same mi mindset that I told that they have. And that's why previously I have mentioned to you saying that the five people that are around you are you are the sum total of that five people. So there's five people around you. You are the six. You're the six of that. Okay. If you have five smart people, you're the six smart people. If you have five gangster guys, you're the six gang 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 member. If you are the you know if there are five rich guys, you're gonna be the six richest one among them. If there are five investors, that's how it works. Environment really 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 affects us. So please sort of do that. And if it if you like your environment, fantastic. You're lucky. You have a privilege. Congratulations. Okay. Tap yourself on the back. So somebody have made something easy for you. Your mom, your dad, your uncle. I don't know whoever. But if the environment around you is not good, is it toxic? Is it bad? Uh, is there anyone that you look at your five friends or someone there that you deal on a regular basis? You don't want to be like them? Change them. Change them. Change them. Yeah, change. Okay? You're a human being. Change it. Find someone that you want to be with. Okay? And that's the thing that I can say. So, so in terms of your training, so get training, update on a constant basis. Because that job thing that you're going to do, you may not like it, you may change to something else. Some of you who said that you want to be an accountant, maybe you're not going to enjoy being an accountant. Because I was an accountant, I didn't really enjoy it. Maybe you're going to love accounting, maybe you're going to be great at it, or, and stuff. So that's why I get a job in, in that sort of a thing. Um, and similarly, some of you want to be a lawyer. Go in there, get in a practice, okay? Work in the law firm, work in the different things. Maybe you're not gonna like it, maybe you're gonna love it and stuff like that. That's going to really help you. It's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of stress, a lot of hustle, okay? Right, uh, right, okay, update your resumes and stuff. I think that's okay, find and apply for a job, so I think I mentioned that. Continue growing and learning. CPD, the one that I told you, control professional development, is a must thing to do. Thank you very much. Next slide, please. Right, 
Sorry, if it's getting a bit boring, we are sort of gonna go. Okay, go back. That's and go. Let's go down one more time. Okay, right. Okay, there you go. All right. So these are the things that we have done. So I just want to say thank you. But before we are going to do, it's this. I just want to give you a couple of examples. So uh, before I'm gonna go to the last stage of the of the presentation. Okay, I want to ask you. Do you have any questions for me? No. Nice, please. Yeah, okay, that's a brilliant question. I love it, okay? I really, really love that question, okay? Uh, you see the fact that we live in, uh, uh, in Uzbekistan, and Uzbekistan is a third world country, and, and the family ties are very, very important in Uzbekistan, you know? Uh, and uh, and the similar, you see this similar sort of a human behavior actually have happened in the European countries as well, but they managed to evolve to get better. How did they manage to get evolved? There's lots of other sort of things that affected this variation, uh, economic, social, uh, social, the diversity, different ethnicities coming into the thing. My recommendation to your friend is like, depending how, how good he is and stuff like that, okay, he needs to try, okay? He, uh, he, if, if that's what he, if that's something that he likes, he needs to genuinely sit down with his, you know, parents, mom and dad, and tell them, look, dad, mom, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to think. Do you think that I can't? Why not? Give me a honest feedback and stuff like that. Okay, and then they say, X, Y, Z. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, okay, but I still want to give it a try. Now, there is one thing that I'm gonna say. So there's two options that's going to happen to your friend. Number one, he's going to try engineering, and it's going to be amazing. He's going to be great engineer, and he's going to be next Elon Musk. So he's not going to be Elon Musk, but he's going to be, you know, I don't know, Abdullah Musk or something from Uzbekistan. Do you know what I mean? So he's going to be a really, 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 really good guy. Okay, very good. That's option number one. Option number two, his parents would be right. He would be horrible. He would fail. Okay, he would have wasted his time. Yeah, he. That's the option. There's two options that's going to happen. So second. So what if the second option happens? What if he fails? Well, at least he tried. He got experience. He tried it. He gave his 100%. Uh, here's the thing. You would never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, ever, never, never, ever, 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 never, ever, never, 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 ever, ever, I hope you understand, never, would regret about the things that you've done. But however, you would regret about the things that you haven't done. You haven't tried, okay? If you tried something and it didn't work, at least you can look at yourself in the mirror. You can wake up every day when you go to the bathroom, you see yourself on the, on the mirror and then you say, do you know what? Yeah, you can talk to yourself. You can say like, I've tried it. It didn't work. I'll take it. I'm sorry. I put my hands up. It didn't work for me. Fine. You can live with that, okay? You can live with the fact that you have given everything you have, 100% in your heart, to this particular thing and it didn't work. Fine, it didn't, but you did. But, but, if you don't do it, the regret of not doing will eat you up for the rest of your life. So it's easier to live with a failure than with a regret. So in my case, I would say that he should generally do these things. He should try it out, speak, talk, honesty. Honesty is the best policy. That's the thing I can say. It's a global problem with Uzbekistan, but you need to learn how to stand up for yourself and uh, stand up for yourself, and, and, and then you should really, really try. You would, okay? Try to walk on the path that hasn't been walked before. Don't follow the, the crowd. Walk on your path. Yes, that path that you're going to take could be risky, could be dangerous, could cause you a lot of problems, could make you loner, weirder, other, stranger. And people will talk and gossip and hate and da 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 da, da about you. But I want you to realize, in the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, am I happy? Is it making me happy? Is that what I want? If the answer is yes, You have one life. This is it. There's no trial. Like Steve Jobs have said, and I love his speech in Stanford University, he, mentioned, he said this, if you live your life as if it was your last day, one day 
you will certainly be right. Did you understand the quote? If you leave your, if you leave your day like it's your last day, one day you will certainly be right. Because there's genuinely last day for you, not just for you, for me as well, for everyone. This whole thing is going to end, okay? So before it's going to end, enjoy the journey. Enjoy and have fun. Live like you want to live. I'm not saying, I'm not saying break a law. Don't break the law. Don't do nothing, don't do nothing illegal, but break the rules. Rule, to break the rules is okay, but breaking a law is illegal. Don't break the law, break the rules. Don't follow it. I hope I'm not confusing you. Question? Do you think university diploma is important? It's <clears throat> only your job. And are there any cases where uh, you, you know, choose a job without any diploma and you get paid more than the people? Because, you know, the thing, people go to Tech University or to uh, Tashkent State Language University, they finish it, they come to us, they ask for a job. And I think myself personally not hire them because their university means nothing. Mm -hmm. That's a brilliant question, okay? Uh, everyone understood the question? The way I look at the diploma, the way I look at the diploma and education and qualification and so on, there's a lot of qualification diplomas. The way I look at it, and I want you to look at it, is like this. Think of a diploma, education, qualification, uh, CP, like, you know, CPDs and certificates. There's a lot of them, okay? So these five things that I mentioned. Think of them, right, like a key, okay? They are like a key. Yes, you know, if you complete it, you've got a key. It can help you to put the key in there, shh, twist it, turn the, the handle down, and open it. It will open a door. It will give you the opportunity. Yes, it will. Okay? But to take a step in it and make a decision, are you going to like it, you know, enjoy it, are you going to be good at it, and stuff like that, it's a completely different game. So... University will open you up at the door, but walking through that door, it's entirely on you. And when I say entirely on you, I mean being just smart is not enough. You also have to have integrity, honesty, ethics, fairness, good judgment, uh, good communication skills, soft skills, are the things that are not taught and you learn them as you go along in your life. So these things will really, really help you. Being honest with your bosses, with your employees, being nice, being communicative, being clear, being concise, uh, time management, being on time, you know, doing more than you can. I want you to make this that you should really work hard and you should do something with heart, like, you know, with everything that you do. Not many people can do that, not many, there are very few people. If you are studying, study hard, study good, study well, study the best, okay? And since we're talking about the studies and stuff, make sure you come first, you study the longest, you study the most, and you leave the last. Don't be the one who comes last and then leaves the first. No, it's not gonna help you. Don't be average, average sucks. Being normal, boring. Being average sucks. It's horrible. Be unique. Be your own person. And doesn't it, it's the thing, it just sort of matters in everything. If you want to do a business, your own business, I don't know, you're going to produce something, make sure you work the hard. You, you do everything the best. Nobody does better than you. Okay? You give everything you have. Even if it's not going to work, fine. doesn't matter. It doesn't work. It didn't happen. Okay? You failed. Okay? It's, it's, it's gone. You lost your money. You put, I don't know, whatever money that you have saved up into it. It's gone. <laughs> Bye-bye, okay? Fine, gone, gone. But you gave everything that you have, okay? Same, same ideology in everything. You work, you work the best. You study, you study the best. Uh, you, I don't know, you have, you're a son, be the best son. Do you know what I mean? You are a brother, be the best brother. Does it sort of make sense? You're gonna have a family or you're gonna be a, you, one day you're gonna become a father, be the best father. You're a mother, become the best mother. Sister, you're the best sister. Does it sort of make sense? Anything that you do, you just do it with heart. Then what's the point of life? What's the whole point of life? What's the point of living if you don't even try, if you don't even attempt 
to do it with your heart, everything that you have. What's the point? There's no point then. So being average sucks. Don't be average. But the problem is, in Uzbekistan, the ideology that you have said is that. Your parents will usually tell you, be average, be like everyone else. Uh, look what other people will tell, tell you. Look what other people will talk about you. It's going to be what? You know, that, that's the one? Yeah, that's what they will tell you. And I don't think you should follow that. I'm not saying break the law again. Like, there are certain things, break the rules, you know? Be adventurous, take risks, enjoy. I don't know, some things. I hope that helps with the, with the question. All right. Any other questions for me? I wanted to do an interview, show you the real interview and stuff. But I think from your eyes, I can see you are tired and you are annoyed. And some of your eyes going like, <gasps> let me sleep. OK, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, OK. Uh, shall we call it a day then? Or shall we make the interview thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Right. Do you want to try the interview? No, I'm going to take an interview from any individual. Oh. Right, very good. Right, no questions for me? Okay, thank you very much. Right, okay, right.